cut it off, guys. I'm gonna perform a uh, plant amputation, I think. <laughs> Look, so there's like, there's like black here. Can you see it? Can you see it? You know, I think, yeah, so, actually I might just throw away the whole thing because there's black everywhere. Look at the, look at it. Do you see it? There's like little black specks everywhere, like here and a uh, lot like right here and here. What the hell? What, the, what is that? Who put that there? I'm gonna throw this guy away. I'm sorry, bud. You, you, you were cool for, I don't know how many years I've had that. A, a long time, but I'm gonna need new leaves. <laughs> Like I talked a little bit in the past, I think like a few streams ago, I don't even know, um, about a Discord server that I joined recently, just a random one, um, full, uh, in, un under the impression that I would find cool people to socialize with, and I guess I did. Hold on, I'm taking out leaves. And I guess I did, but I, I guess, I guess the best way to describe it was I, I was in a call with them, right? I was in like a, vo a voice call channel, whatever. And I I showed them a Crested Gecko Care Guide video, just for fun, just, you know, as, as kids do. Um, and th their first response was, oh my God, this is so boring. What the hell are you talking about? Crested Gecko Care Guide, she's given us in-depth tips on how to care for a Crested Gecko. And you're just saying it's boring? What, what on earth are you on? Oh my God, can you believe that? something at the Barnes and Noble, but I don't know. This cord is gonna kill me one of these days. It's gonna choke me, you know? I'm cleaning enclosures. Also, there's like some terrible wind going on right now. Yeah, I can hear it, Jesus. I don't know how to silence that, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't control the weather, but it is crazy. Like California has been going through some like crazy, crazy wind recently. It's not good, it's not good. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to get my card in all directions right. Shut up, oh my God. <laughs> You know, it's it's so weird, like, people have their cardinal directions, like, memorized. So they hear north, they're like, oh yeah, that's up, I know that, what the hell? And they're like, oh, east, that's, that's where east is, I know that one. It's like, what the hell? I don't know anything about that. I still get east and, w east and west confused, I don't know where the hell the, those, those guys are. Um, I know north and south, but that's just because of the phrase, oh, well, that went south fast. Like, that's what I think about when people, oh, yeah, that, when I, whenever I'm trying to understand my cardinal directions, right? You'd think that, that like, I, I already know by, by this time. I, I've been alive for, like, what, 16 and a half years, something like that? I don't know. It's like, what the, what the hell? I don't know anything about that. I'm not, I'm not going to go on a plane anytime soon. Uh, where would I go? I don't know. Usually, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about that. I guess, like, yeah. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's like a whole germ pit sort of situation. I mean, like, my family's always been kind of weird about, like, germs. I mean, we've never, like, been super, uh, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm, like, washed hands after every, sh like, handshake or whatever, sort of germaphobe or whatever. But we've all, always been kind of uh, stuck. We've always been kind of weary around everything. Like, never put your hands in your mouth when you're in a plane, you know, and, like, I don't know, sneeze into your elbow, but that's just something people, everyone does. Anyway, <laughs> my family's always been like that. And like, this is kind of, it, it feels weird because since coronavirus has started, my family's been a lot more into it, which I don't blame them for, obviously. Don't blame anyone for being uh, wary about germs and everything, but yeah. Never put your hands in your mouth on a plane. I mean like, okay. So I guess nobody else does this. Nobody else in the world does this, but um, and I'm not saying I put my whole hand in my mouth. I can, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> don't ask why I know that I can. But my fingers get very dry. I mean, they used to. I put lotion on now after I wash my hands so they don't get dry anymore. But they used to get super dry. So around my uh, 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 nails or whatever, or around my nails uh, area, that would get like super dry. So I would kind of, I don't know, almost kiss it, I guess, to make it like, less dry and feel better. It, it was just a real bad sensory experience whenever my hands were dry. And that's why I would do that. So that's why I was never, that's why I was told to not put your hands in your mouth on the on a plane or I guess in a grocery store or kind of anywhere. I don't know, it's just weird. That's just a weird thing that, that I do, <laughs> that I used to do, I guess. I haven't really, have I done that? I don't know if I've done that in a while.
I don't know. Yes, you have to know, right? Yeah, yeah I guess you gotta know. I don't know, just to test it out. <laughs> I mean, like everyone bites their hands. Like everyone bites it, right? Like, like, like if you're impatient about, ooh, that's gross. There's poop. Ooh. But it, like if you're impatient about something, you'll like bite your hand maybe. I don't know. Or if you're angry, I don't know. Is that something people do or is that just a me thing? Who knows? I got no clue. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, we've always been wary about about planes. I guess it just even just being in a plane, it smells like germs. Does that make sense? If I'm remembering correctly, I guess it smells like cold. And cold smells like germs, right? Is this just completely incomprehensible? This makes sense, right? Like it smells it like it smells like every time you breathe in, you're breathing in like five bacterioids. You know, you are smelling ozone. Ah. But like every time I am in my bed at nighttime, I think about this, you know, or at least any time I'm like cringing at the little things that I did in my past, you know, uh, I'll be sitting there, I'll be thinking, oh my God, remember that one time when we were like on a plane to Hawaii and we were on the plane and I went into the bathroom and usually I spend a little while in the bathroom. I don't know why. I just like to take my time. And I was, I was sitting there, right? And the flight attendant came over to the bathroom, knocked on the door. She said, are you almost done? And I said, uh, uh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, why, what? And she said, well, because we're trying to fly the plane, but we can't, we, we can't land the plane when we're, when someone's in the bathroom. I said, oh, oh okay, okay, yeah. And it turns out, and I, I, so I wrapped it up, right? I went over to my seat, I sat down, and, and, and I told mom, how long have, have we been in the air for, like, that they wanted to land? And she told us, she told me that they've been like like circling the landing pad or whatever for the last 10 minutes that's like 10 yes thank you streamlabs but that's like the for the last 10 minutes they were circling the little landing pad just because i was in the bathroom and that was like oh, oh. like even on the walk there i kind of sensed it i was like oh my god everyone's like looking at me it's like i'm sorry i didn't know you know i was like 10 i don't know how old i was i guess i was 10 in all these stories I don't know anything about age, but that was <laughs> it was real embarrassing because it's like, oh god, I was holding everyone up. They probably thought I was a little a little penis man, you know? That's, oh, that sucks. That's like the worst, I think, plain story I think I have just at all. Uh, yeah, because like a lot of the other plain plain stories, you know, that I have uh, are are pretty like whatever, you know? Oh, haha, I tried this food and it was it tasted boring cool <laughs> you know I, I don't know I something that is weird let me let me tell you about this also I got powder on my hands I'm pissed off about that something that's weird and then I never understood like what's that little gimmick I think it's Jerry Seinfeld that talks about this but what's that little gimmick where he's like oh what's the deal what's the deal with airline food like I don't know you tell me I don't know what I've never really thought anything about airline food it's like oh <laughs> it's on a plane and it's food and it's on a plane and it's, it tastes like nothing a majority of the time What's what's there to write home about? Did he ever finish that? Did he say, what's the deal with airline food? Oh, here's the deal with airline food. And then say what the deal with airline food is. And I just never heard about the second part. Because I would love to know. Oh my god. Look at how... I am like caked in white powder. How did that happen? Mr. Cle this is This is Mr. Clean Gloves. Don't trust that guy. Don't trust that guy. Jesus. He's like, he salted my fingers. Oh my god. Not assaulted. He's hurting me right now. This is the guy. This is the little man right here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's real. Did he just try and bite me? I don't know. <laughs> he's a little guy right here. You can see he's got fat rolls. You can, Fat rolls are the little parts like right here. I love you. I love you. I'm going to put it. I'm going to try. Hey, do you want to go? Hey, hey, go in here. Hey, go in here. Hold on. Yes, go in the paper towel roll. Yes. Yes, go in here. I'm going to tilt it. Okay, I put him in a paper towel roll, so now the boy's contained. I hate that powder so much. Oh my god. Why do they put powder on, like, latex gloves? Well, nitrile gloves. They're nitrile, right? No, latex. They're latex. Why do they put powder on that? You don't need that. Oh my god. I could get past them being loose and terrible. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy. What the hell? I didn't tell you to do that. Oh look, you can really see his fat rolls. Oh, that's crazy. He pooped. Why did you poop in a paper towel roll? I love you, but why on earth would you do that? Oh my God. 
You're a little pooper, aren't you? I love you, but you're a little pooper. Hold on. I got a new thing to clean, I guess. You know, because there's a lot of tea out there that's like, ugh, whatever, you know? Because, <laughs> like, for the for the longest amount of time, and I've, I've talked about this before, for the longest amount of time, um, what my mom had had for, like, as tea, or what my mom, the kinds of tea that my mom would give me were specifically to help with, like, headaches and, like, stomach aches and, like, joint pain and stuff like that, you know? Purely, like, health related tea you know uh, and because of that they don't really care that much about flavor and so she, it, it tastes like mucinex a lot of the time like just like warm mucinex which is just the most like ugh, ugh, gross ew I'm okay I'm okay I really shouldn't touch my eyes because I, I honestly, that's like a mystery white powder, which white is like the worst color for a mystery powder. I have no idea. This is the brand, by the way. Look out for these. Oof. That's, <laughs> these are scary. Because they got like a mystery powder on them, and it's white. Could be salt. Could be baby powder. Could be, I don't know, cocaine. <laughs> which is like, ooh, that's not something I want to be caught with my hands on. I don't want to be caught with any powder on my hands, honestly, actually, honestly. Let me take this. No, no, hey, hey, stop. Hey, hey, whoa. Uh -huh. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Settle down. Settle down, baby. Here, go in here. Go back in here. Please? And uh, you know what? I'm going to take the take the this guy off. <laughs> I think I'll be good. I think I'll be good with that. I'm still my my nose is still itchy and I think it's the poop. I have no idea. Also, I'm still my hands are getting really dry, and it's like actually bothering me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh Jesus, oh man, how'd that happen? I'm kidding, that happened intentionally. Oh no, look at the scary, that's like a portal into another dimension, haha. <laughs> no, don't worry, that's just my the other half of my bathroom. Okay, here is the enclosure, hello, and here's the little guy, he's like right here, like a little, uh, like a little person. <laughs> What the hell? That's his little frog butt right there because he lost his tail. What the hell? He's a little frog butt. Oh my god, and he's fat too That's just the best thing in the world, isn't it? Well, that's the whole guy. This whole thing. Look, it says Corlophus ciliatus. Oh my god. Macintosh. That's his name. That's amazing. Finished enclosure. I'm done streaming. Uh, thank you for joining me today. We're exiting with 30 FPS frames per second. That is amazing. Thank you Streamlabs. Thank you Streamlabs John Because he just decided to do that for me. Anyway, uh, that's it. That's the end of the stream. <gasps> Hello. Anyway, we're done. Thank you. Uh, goodbye.